You could well. you could probably go into Gabe's office or Doug Lombardi's office and just print something. Sounds hot. <laughs> Sounds sexy. But you have to fight Gabe first. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week is no exception. I'm Vin Stone. Here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, I'm mixing the bits, swinging the stuff, all under Linux, and our man up north, whose love is like styrofoam. That is one Jordan's fang. If you mix me with gasoline, I make napalm. Pretty much. And there's Pedro. Together with you. Hi. Live, helping us for Cocaine Full Drone. Ah, uh, lads, what's up? I see we didn't write anything, did we? No. Uh, nope. Jordan, you were having plane <laughs> issues. Your plane broke. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I I gave I gave I gave an, a, an abridged version of this on the free free super shows, and you should watch that if you're a Patreon or listen to it or whatever whatever method of consumption you prefer. Anyways, so I'm flying out to scale tomorrow. Um, going to, going to LA. I got my my con confirm your booking email right? right, and the name is wrong. They they have me listed as Jordana, which I know I. I know exactly what happened. They, some there's some API fuck up somewhere, and it took my middle initial and it stuck it on the end of my first name. It is, it's so disheartening <laughs> knowing that because it's the airport and the TSA and all that fun stuff that you can't go fuck with them. But like it no. is yeah. Jordana now. No, and as it, as it turns out, I was so I was on hold for forty fucking minutes. Mm -hmm. They can't do shit. I have to go there in person the day of. And in their defense, what, what, you were doing that anyway. <laughs> Yes, You're going to have to be there. <laughs> but I was hoping to avoid talking to people. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. If I if I could get away with not having to engage with the TSA humans, I call that a win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pedro, anything new on your side of the pond? Uh, not really. No, that's brilliant. How about you, Ven? <laughs> Dude, uh, playing with stuff. Playing with interfaces, all the um, like little bids that I put on eBay are starting to come in. My little ten dollars, fifteen dollars, and like, oh, things are showing up. Then I'm reminded with thirty dollars shipping, <laughs> we get we get a different little piece of kit here. We're trying out. This is a M Audio twenty six twenty six, and I found some weird, unique things that it does. Like it has an internal mixer with full DSP and all that stuff, and like it's got like a door built inside of it that we can access, which is hmm. way above my pay grade. Not gonna mess with that, but. It'll be fun to do a video on that. Speaking of that, stick around. Uh, the pilot episode of Interfacing Linux is out. Poor patrons. Go watch that instead of this nonsense. That's crazy. Nope, don't. I'm kidding. You want to stick around for the horse. <laughs> of course it's the horse. It replies a little force, and then we'll stay the course. It's, it's the Steam Linux update of the week. All right, all right. Uh, I'll give that like a C minus. I'll that give that was a horse passable. Out of 10. <laughs> but, um, well, the horse has been experimenting, and uh, those uh -oh. experiments have now left the lab, and they're live, they're public. The first one is uh, Steam Search. It's been uh, graduated from the Steam Labs experiment into its own thing. Basically, it's all the updates that if you went to the um, like games list on Steam where you do the searching, uh, you saw like the labs t uh, tag on some of the options. Well... They're not there anymore because they are a part of the search function now. And oh, okay, I was reading that wrong. I was like, what? Indie, what, what is 689? Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> wait, you, you, you don't like that 689 genre? <laughs> Six eight nine. That's um, my brain but, went, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, listen, man, they, they sold out after six eighty two. Am I out of touch? Anymore. No, it's uh, right. I just like the whole idea that Valve, as you know, the people who implemented early access into uh, the mainstream um, game thing, uh, they're now also <laughs> applying it to their own store. Kudos, well, well, Elf. <laughs> so th th they had some other shit like Infinite Scroll. I honestly, I gotta say, filtering by tags—they really should have included that 
when you could they already do when, that when they release tags yeah. But yeah that's the thing you could already do half of that you could include like specific tags in your search but you can't exclude but you tags. couldn't filter them out yes yeah. <laughs> and that's that, what that, they've introduced that, that, that was the big thing so if you have an irrational yeah. hatred for like hipster <laughs> pixel games or whatever uh yeah you, you can remove them I, I i do i do like the yeah we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna show you games in your search that you already own mm. mm-hmm Oh. It's like, it's already in my library. Just get it away from me. <laughs> yeah. Kind of bring up what I said last week. Uh, give me an option to sort by what works on ProtonDB. Yeah. Let's do that. But when you're done with that, soon. let's go find out uh, how much money you've wasted. Why are we here? We're at SteamDB.info. Because uh, this is all thing showed up. Hours per platform. Anyone ever noticed that before? How long has it been out, Pedro? Uh, apparently since September, because if you hover over the little, um, question mark that they have there, it says Valve is added per OS playtime, uh, counting around September 2019. So the counts may be lower than expected. So, yeah, that, that explains why I have 4,600 hours in total, but only 262 show up for Linux. Did you manage to get anything under, um, Windows or Mac OS? I got nothing. Nope. None. I mean, last hours. time I had a Windows install was in 2011, so there's that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it would be the same for me. <laughs> I, I, I stopped dual booting many, many, many moons ago. I just thought that was a neat thing. And now it's going to be infinitely more neat when it works, but yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> just sprinkle a little works on it. And... I mean, that that's that's still a good measurement from September up to now, how many hours you've played. And apparently I haven't played many. <laughs> 257. What's your digits? Give me those digits. 262. 262. I didn't check. And do I, I think technically the lower number, so I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's golf. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, man. What's up next? Golf. We release with the friends. That's right. We, we did that on Friday. Game. Yeah. Well, I, I, <laughs> you I did you did it on Friday. I watched. You, you sit back and played with your tentacles. Um, mm. They right. We're thrilled to announce golf with your friends is coming to early access and to full release. That's uh, in twenty twenty Q two. A little bit vague, but it's also coming to Nintendo Switch. That's right. Can't wait to get Jordan a copy for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, Xbox One <laughs> and PlayStation 4 at the same time. This is kind of brilliant because it's been fun to watch this in perpetual early access for all the years. It's currently seven ninety nine. You might want to pick that up if you think about it because you know they've added a lot of polish to this game over the last few months, especially since they got like the other team in to work on it. I'm, I figured mm-hmm. exactly what went down with that story. But you know, you get new menus, new online, like setting up online games is reasonable now it's logical and overall performance it's, it's, it's got that crossplay too yeah yep that, that that's kind of the big one is um uh, being being able to play this with other people on other platforms I yeah guess regardless of whatever if, if, console if, if, if you like or golf. os you're using yeah <laughs> it is a genuinely good fun fuck around game that was something i was always scared that they would mess with was just the glitchtasticness of it and they, they seem to Held on to that. And again, it runs very well, except for the Worms map. That just runs like dog shit. But <laughs> too too many explosions, explosions and particle effects. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, way too much going on in each one of those maps at one time. And it's really fun to see a 2060 um, on, with a Threadripper struggle to maintain 30 at 1080p. Yep. Maybe that's, like, that's kind of impressive, almost a little bit. But y- y- now we need a new whipping boy because distance is out of early access. Mm-hmm. Golf with your friends is out of early access. Besieged uh, is out of early access. So, mm-hmm. what was it Earth twenty ninety nine? That'll mm-hmm. be out any day now, right? Yeah. Hey, we can play that. And, 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 and we day. need to review that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we might be able to. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the scene about in Dinosaur. Yes. So, Tales of Magial. This is not a dinosaur. It's version 167. And uh, Tales of Magial in itself is one of those it, stupid... It, it, it's not Dead End Job. Uh, it, it's not? No, that's it's not the dead one end. after it's... this. <laughs> but uh, it's... Uh, no, it's one of those stupidly deep... Um, 
roguelikes. It's like the more you get into it, the more stuff you find to bury yourself in. So yeah, the, with this update, they've updated the uh, base game. They fixed a bunch of stuff. Uh, they rebalanced some of the skills for both yourself and the NPCs. Uh, they also banned vile life from NPCs. I'm not entirely oh, sure what finally. that is, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> Dude, they made the worms vault more reasonable. I hate it when I have to deal with unreasonable vaults. Mm -hmm. That's a They've pain. also uh, I, I, I fixed, can deal with unreasonable um, worms, though. Mm. Fixed a bunch of stuff in Forbidden Cults and in Embers of Rage and uh, Ashes of the Uruk. Uh, there was only one change which was internal update to use some new code of the main game hmm. well i gotta i gotta say they don't mention dinosaurs at all in patch notes no. they're not lying about it not being a dinosaur <laughs> and i mean like yeah this is a lot of balance and gameplay updates and if you're if you're already balls deep into this game then these probably mean something and you're probably either ultra relieved or super pissed off otherwise yes. it means fuck all <laughs> didn't we play this we played this haven't we no we, we did i not. have played we, it Pedro's played this. Whoa! Oh, I have wow. played it. Um, hmm, I understand why I've not played this. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the, this it, is it, a rogue. It's a rogue like dungeon crawl, crawler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, this like is proper like rogue. Net hack with a texture yeah. pack on top of it. Um, it, it straight up is. Okay, that's the thing. Well, hey man, it's uh, with always good tons time. of more stuff, like every single individual NPC has its own stats, and it's just crazy. <laughs> if that's your but, jam, that's your jam, though, man. I mean, yeah. People yeah. get lost in that nonsense. Unlike this next fresh update that brings fixes and items. <laughs> yeah, th th this one. This one is dead end job. Um, so here's here's the deal with that. The the <laughs> booing of Isaac gets an update. Uh, so there's an intro <laughs> sequence in the game that you normally skip if you're playing it under Linux, but the now one you can we've watch never it. seen. Yay! Right, the, the yes. one that you would skip regardless. <laughs> uh, you, you 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 can now watch it. Um, there's there's also some uh, monster balances and whatnot, and just to make it not a maintenance update, they added ten new power ups and consumables. So that's a thing. Uh, at least at least they're um, they're giving this game they're some still, support. Yeah, yeah, they're still working on it, which is very good. Uh, I mean, our review of it was Somebody's thoroughly playing meh. it. <laughs> that, that guy kind of looks like Pedro if he got a haircut. A little bit. Hang on. That's the developer. Yes. Oh, it is. <laughs> that Pedro, you never told us you made a game. Oh no! You see, that that just went from like I was excited to like that's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm tearing up inside. But yeah, it, it's it's available for download. Um, we threw we threw some chairs out if you want to yeah. go and look at the uh, review for that. See if this would be your jam. It, Maybe it's give it a look. Not a bad game. It's just didn't really do anything. New. But hey, we like the art style. And before you even brought it up, before I read it, I was like, man, this is got a written stimpy vibe to it and like yeah it does because they're like mm -hmm. yo we really were fans of that so yeah good times i i i would say though if you're expecting multiplayer goodness no it's the, mul the multiplayer is super tacked on yeah that that was like yeah. you're, you're just there to like hang out it was like you playing golf with friends with us last night right yeah kind of like that. <laughs> except, except, le except less stabbing people in this true true and slightly less interactive Indeed. All right. Coming up next. Oh my God. Michael Larable from Peronix was hit by an asteroid and is now an 18 foot tall tentacle monster. Oh, wait. Did Find you out more? Send him an email about that? No, I probably should. Awaiting confirmation. Got it. Yep. I was going to make a joke about uh, Oblivion Guards, but uh, it's not on Linux. So uh, let's, uh, let's take but a little bit of a break. But then you took an arrow to the knee? With Bolivian yes. guards. <laughs> Those are Skyrim, but yeah. Uh, I know, Pedro, that uh, was the joke. Take a bit of a break from the um, Lydixy news, or we'll get into the Lydixy news uh, in short order, but before we do that, there's this thing we like to do where we take our clothes off and people just turn away from the video because they don't want to see that. And uh, that's, there we go, Jordan's already going. Ah. So uh, to stop him from Damn doing that. <laughs> Damn you headphones. <laughs> You I will let Jordan speak now. <laughs> I am in the forever dark void beyond time and space Bring in the it, land son. of wind and ghosts. And if you want if, if you want to keep me here, you gotta keep giving us money. You gotta keep giving us cash by heading over heading over to uh, LinuxGamecast.com, moving your mouse over. Bring Jordan back tab. from the Nuno Zone. <laughs> like I said, it's the land of wind and ghosts. Um yeah. 
Most sort of that support button. We got a lot of cool options for you, like uh, LibrePay, Bitcoin, PayPal. Uh, you can always head on over to patreon.com slash linuxgamecast. You can select a membership level and get access to cool stuff like our Discord channel, uh, which also comes with a bonus extra hour of Linux Gamecast weekly content. Mm -hmm. um, show up at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time for the pre pre super shows, and we got a store uh store.linuxgamecast.com i owe jill some money because she bought me something from there uh that i will have to wear in public it's gonna be great and you can too maybe buy a coffee mug uh we got it we got our amazon wish list uh that th that shiny reflective thing behind ven's head right there that's the fuck wall if you give us uh if you help uh, us out by buying some stuff off our wish list you can get your name up on there Plus, if you leave us a little note with the Amazon package, we have to read it on the stream. Yeah. It's pretty mental. <laughs> do you think you did a good job, Pedro? Do, do you feel sold? <laughs> uh, it, I, I don't feel assaulted, so there's that. All right, fine. That's you, can I'm, be a, you can be unbashed. That's because I'm here to pepper you, baby. <laughs> you can return from the no-no zone. Uh, so we can talk about gamer. I, I, oh, I was... I was going to say, uh, getting access to show notes is a cool benefit of being a Patreon. But yeah, Gameras! It's friend to children. Uh, it's 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 not Arch Linux. It's definitely not Arch Linux, <laughs> it's you guys. totally not Arch. Totally Come on now, guys. It's totally Arch. Do not it. download directly from where it should be downloaded from. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Uh, totally but it comes start. with the uh, latest and greatest Mesa and NVIDIA drivers. It also now ships with the Steam Compositor++, plus plus plus, Mango HUD, and Xbox dongle support. So you can use your Pro Controller thing that you paid two hundred dollars for like scott yeah yeah and uh you know considering how valve isn't doing anything with steam os i'm kind of glad that this exists they totally but... are are they <laughs> they literally that's literally what they target for all their linux offerings but they haven't updated it in a long time <laughs> it's stable man it's just like Debian, just like Debian. I, you know, I mean, it is based on Debian, so there's that. To to Pedro's point, you can look at when 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 Debian, the latest stable version of Debian, is like, yeah, that, that's a little outdated. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> then you but, know it's yeah. time to update. I'm just saying. The Steam. one big thing uh, that is coming out of this project is the SteamOS uh, Compositor Plus, because they do have. There's a bunch of games that have a problem with the SteamOS compositor, as in, like, a good example is Dead Cells. Uh, the game starts in a composite layer below the Steam Big Picture mode, because for some reason that game doesn't know that it should try and be on the topmost layer, for whatever reason. And the developer it's a is bottom, just Pedro, outright... Don't judge it. Don't kink shame Dead Cells. <laughs> but... The developer is outright ignoring people and not fixing that, and Steam Compositor Plus actually has a couple of workarounds in place to address those games. And so you know I what happens much when like... Pedro's got a complaint and you don't immediately address him. He'll quit your distro. Like that. Just I like Fidon too. I never yeah, used so <laughs> no, we're, we're just giving him a fair warning. Good... I don't worse. intend to use it. <laughs> That's cold. Next, 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 what, next what week. Like oh my god! I put Gamer OS on the Steambox 360. Ah, it's he's the greatest got his Gamer thing OS ever. T-shirt on. He's like, yeah, yeah. Get he got it tattooed on his forehead. That's brilliant. Live long and prosper. What? <laughs> god. Uh, maybe god maybe you can get some money back. Two point oh. Do you have any more questions? Why the fuck? Yes, I do. Gog, where's my client? We're like, we can't do that. Then why not? Because then we'd have to admit Linux exists. What's wrong with that? CD Projekt Red. You remember The Witcher Three? I'm like, oh right, right, right. Guess we can. Guess we can. I, um, I remember The Witcher Two. Gog's got some news <laughs> on the refunds, and you're like, yo, uh, how do I go about getting a refund now, Pedro? Well, uh, they've updated the uh, refund policy, and now. Up to 30 days after purchase, you can get uh, your money back. And they ask you, pretty please do not abuse the system, but this is the internet, so I foresee people will abuse the shit out of this. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, um, yeah, 30 days after purchase, there's no limit on the amount of time because uh, they do have that client that's totally coming to Linux here, guys. Just wait. Um, but... One of the things that, or the thing, I guess, that would set GOG apart from the rest of the stores is that they let you download the game DRM-free and you 
can just have that installer or the game files to use however you like. And so they don't really track the amount of uh, game time that you put in just in case you download the client separately or the game file separately. That's great. But yeah, the continued begrudging Linux acknowledgement. So we can get a refund from GOG. Yes. Yeah, you, yes. you already could do that, but yeah, now yeah, they've yeah. extended that to thirty days. Yes. All right. So yeah, you can buy. You can you can buy your DRM free game, keep mm -hmm. your installer, and then refund it. Don't don't do that, kids. No, but they specifically say it's like please don't abuse the system. <laughs> I, you gotta hope that they have something in place for that because you know even Valve's like yo the refund's not uh, try it's not free demos. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, well, I refunded it after two hours, and they have no real way of tracking that, unless, unless, I, I here's an idea, Gog, make them only do be able to refund it if it's purchased and played through the client. Then it doesn't apply to Linux people, and we can continue not giving a damn. Yeah, no, um, and, and, and instead we can rip off their designs and make Kickstarters <laughs> about it. Dude, here's the thing, man. Is yeah, I'm definitely talking about that last week. Is if you would give me a Linux client, I might buy something more from GOG than if, because I have like the, 60 the, the things. The GOG Connect. That, yeah, that's what I use. We have the GOG Connect, but yes. uh, up until recently, like very recently, Proton even like screwed you guys on this GOG. I needed data files for an open source engine for a game that I wanted to play. And like now, now with Proton, I don't even have to like monkey around with it. I just download the Windows version, you know, give Steam the money, then just Proton it, get my data files and jump back out and do my thing. Yep. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, no, uh, GOG's uh, like continued begrudging Linux acknowledgement doesn't really make me want to buy anything from them. Well, so the the, the other thing too is like, re remember, I forget who it was, they were talking about how if you want to get your Linux version of a game on GOG, you still, you literally have to email them a zip because they don't have a way to manage that. Yeah, no, they still haven't changed. They said that they would. They, they, they were going to improve the whole uh, submitting Linux versions of the games to the GOG store. Mm hmm. Um, then they forgot. Get on that? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, in, in the meanwhile, you can play some Mech Warrior. Oh, shit. Battle Metal! Ish. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, total conversion mod for Dark Places uh, for Mech Combat. It's basically supposed to be inspired by Mech Warrior um, and all those games. Please, please tell me it's a stealth mech game where I'm a giant hulking milk, but I gotta be quiet. I guess Nick. Probably. <laughs> you, uh, so, so that's the thing. You can make it because the goal of this thing is to be like a toolkit for making mech games. Um, and yeah, like it's it's pretty bare bones at the moment. You actually have to go and like if if you want to build a robot, you have to use the definition files to straight up build your robot. And they have an entire documentation section on like the the data format for that, so you can actually do it. Uh, but it's it's still pretty interesting. Um, I'm as a fan of giant hulking machines beating the crap out of each other. I'm on board. Um, so yeah, it's it's a thing you can check it out. It's on GitHub. The links to it are in our show notes. They, if you really miss Mech Warrior, they do have a website. Okay, they do. And uh, to that little. point, I ask, what is wrong with your face? I mean, website. It, it, what it, is that? That looks what. <laughs> they, they, they they wrote their website in the dark places engine it loads <laughs> technically with technically a yes. image down. <laughs> am i like missing some uh -huh. no? Uh, yeah <laughs> no 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 yeah. if you go to media you can look at some videos and that's uh yeah it, it, that's a bit broken yo he's, 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 he's a game dev not a web dev <laughs> yeah <That's>... man <laughs> hey it, it's thing this is listen all right before we even think about hating on that, at least there's some media on the website. <laughs> oh, no, I was very glad because it's like, okay, how about some screenshots? No screenshots? All right, let's click the website. Oh, media. Oh, there's some videos. No, all no, right. No, no, no. We all we all discuss our open source game in uh, haiku and text <laughs> and old English. And interpretive bits. Yes. Mysticly and smoke yes. signals. Um, but Good hey, night. in case the graphics in um, Battle advanced. Metal were just too, too advanced many, too for Too many you. Ds. Yes. Uh, too many that, places uh, that are dark. Third dimension was just way too much for listen, you. I still dude. I'm, I'm still imagining like a big mech like snicking behind a like, skyscraper peeking around the corner. <laughs> like you don't see me. Yeah. <laughs> There's something hiding in the trees. No, it isn't. 
There's a big it, giant it, fuck it, off it, robot. It is the tree. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, the there is no giant fuck off robot. Just uh, the Nokia 3310 2020 game jam had a bit of an entry that was called Bitnight, and it's available now. It's uh, made in Godot, so that that's good. Uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, you'd have some trouble getting Godot to run on a 3310. But what do I know? It it does have the uh, graphical fidelity that you'd expect from a game in a 3310, and it's yeah, it's a side-scrolling RPG. I want to call it, dude. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, I've seen far worse-looking shit on Steam. So, <laughs> and I, I mean, it's it's a game jam thing, right? It's all about interesting yeah. game design problems that you try to tackle. So it's it's yep. it's nice that it's available. <laughs> You can you can you can download it. You can play it in your browser if you want. It's... Yeah, no, no I mean, it, it is Godot, so it, it yeah. will work. <laughs> a, it's open source, made with Godot, and I love like technical challenge stuff like this. It's like you oh, know, it's like absolutely. the JavaScript game challenge. Like, can you do it in under thirty three k? It's like, oh man, yeah, yeah, that's kind of brilliant. I'm yep. digging it. Indeed. <laughs> uh, oh my god, Ferrell's out of Tapping. business. They've closed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Virtual programming yep. has it's bought them out, Space and now. News. And now we're all literally <laughs> going to die. Okay, so every everyone's favorite Linux news site, uh, Pharonix has been known to not be the most forthcoming and honest when it comes to their reporting. Reliable, um, yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so oh, oh, hey, man, only listen. Cheryl Laravel. All right, it's but. Pharonix. All of all of you, the best Linux news with none of that pesky accuracy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> indeed. So now, okay. So Pharonix has straight up killed this article. Now you can't view it on their website anymore. Aww. Unfortunately, Google caching this. <laughs> Which yeah. is a change. I mean, I guess and, that's and, news. Any, anyways, <laughs> they were reporting that Feral uh, was. Uh, they received a strike off, which could be the end of it. When really, Feral, for some some finance wonk from Feral forgot to file some paperwork on time, and an automated process gave him a write up. That's that's the story. That's well, it. I I really I distinctly remember. I, I clicked through to the Fronix thing. And it was like I've sent off. Uh, I've contacted Feral and I've not received any response. And Speedy Cat Feral like walked in. And I was like, we have not been contacted, y'all. No, yeah. it's like if he'd actually reached out to us, uh, we would have actually told him what happened, but he didn't. And no, uh, the, apparently Farrell just, uh, they were a bit late in submitting the uh, paperwork for the end of the financial year to the company's house here in the UK. And so the automated process said, it's like, uh, you're in breach. So we've said the, um, the first gazette or whatever they call it. And that is what uh, spurred Michael Larable. Mm. In his article, in, in indeed. So, like we can, we can, we can say, Pharonix jumps the gun, may be sued for libel and shut down forever. More at eleven. No, um, <laughs> Portal two and three. But I mean, this is this is thing. This is, this is Pharonix, man. So no, no. Uh, Metro may get a Linux version. Metro twenty thirty three released on Linux. Or was it last three. light? I don't remember. Portal four. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I mean, they both they were for it technically. But, Moral you know, of the story is post hoc correctness, this, man. Um, <sighs> don't don't jump the gun with anything. Always double check anything. Don't just read headlines either. Yes. Yeah. Send us some hate mail at, <laughs> at Jordan right, at Linux <laughs> Yeah, do it. I totally checked that email. You do. It's forwarded to your Gmail account. Shush. All right. <laughs> Pro tip. More of this nonsense. Uh, the first delay of 2020, one thing we love talking about is the Smash Z. And you remember that it used to be called the Steam Boy. Mm-hmm. And uh, the we first official delay of 2020, we were all waiting for it. We're like, oh, what are they going to come up with next year? It's here. Um, because, you know, the early backers are under a non disclosure agreement about backer updates now because that's how they're not shadily handling this bullshit Mm -hmm. um (laughs) everything's pretty much ready however the chinese company responsible for the molds appear to have made some errors and will need to be redone you guys like for real just like almost ready to ship them out the door but you know here's the see no one noticed this at any point during the uh, molding process no (laughs) no that teeny tiny little pin prick Uh uh-huh (laughs) <laughs> bad molds, man, and not not even the lung destroying variety. It's just bad plastic. 
And the problem is, of course, uh, Reddit went internet. Detective Dark Bane's like, yeah, you know, last year when you posted the photos of all the molds that you'd already made and they, they were mm -hmm. fine and you were waiting on another component at that time? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, no, that seems like a bullshit excuse if I ever saw one. So I guess the race is still on. Which one will release first? This or the Atari VCS? <laughs> you know, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, when this was first mentioned and launched, it was understandable of, like, I want to believe I'd like to back this project because it mm -hmm. could be done. We saw that it could be done. It was called the Switch. Yes. You know? And I was like, this is a doable, achievable project. But if you bought the Atari thing, you you just got other issues I can help you with. You, you deserve everything you don't get, plus a free night stay at the Atari Motel. <laughs> <laughs> is that buried in the desert somewhere? They're making it a chain. It might be in the soon Victoria. enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They well, have to finish building it first. Yeah. Right. Well, you, you you could purchase it on Newegg. Purchase your reservation. In Our weekly Linux gaming update but, of the yep. egg. Because huh? apparently Newegg's been doing Linuxy gaming stuff, and this one, well, they kind of jumped straight from Proton to overclock your NVIDIA GPU on Linux with Green with Envy. We've actually talked about Green with Envy on this very show. It was a flat pack uh, thing. It's it was that, a better name than Yellow with Dysentery. Let's be honest. Yes, <laughs> and um, it's uh, it's a little application that allows it basically gives you um, some visuals as to your, the temperatures and fan speeds and everything else for your NVIDIA GPU. You can also set fan profiles. And of course, you can overclock it if you set the cool bits for those latter two. And last time I tried it, uh, which was around when we talked about it, uh, there was an issue because if the flat pack was using the GPU, I couldn't use it for native applications. So if I tried to start a game natively, it just would. So I wonder if that's changed because there's no mention of that at all in the um, little new egg article, and I couldn't be asked to try it. So. I have, I've enabled cool bits. Does that count? Do I get like a sticker or something? I'd sure. Yeah. You, you got a gold star. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I, 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 uh, <laughs> oh, it speaks. Go ahead. Uh, I was, I was going to say, I, I was, I was joking around that because this is a new egg article, this guide only applies to NVIDIA GPUs purchased through new egg. Yeah. You buy it through Amazon or brick and mortar. It's only, it only Green with envy will not work. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, man, <laughs> I have really never tinged her tingled with like overclocking no i have in the past but yeah i got the cool bits for the fan control and i've overclocked the memory on the 2060 just because like wait you can just throw another gigahertz on this memory it's like yep it's like huh did it like twice it's like that's neat still runs it doesn't affect anything and of course i've cut the fans full blast to see what that sounded like i'm like huh that's <laughs> then i'm done then i'm just back running stock whatever yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not really a big overclocking person. Yeah, with a 1080 know. Ti, I mean, really? I, I could. <laughs> squeeze you squeeze could. that extra, like, two frames a second yeah, out of those It's games. not like you have some peasant card, like Pedro's 10, 1080. Yeah, no, my Red, 1080. 1080. I know. What a, what, what a heaping you see, crash fire. You see, I have, a, I have a bread box, I have a toaster 2060, and I stay in my lane, okay? <laughs> can it, can, do you use it to All make I'm toast? saying is... Uh, this particular 1080, thank you very much, Martin, uh, is, um, no, it's not going anywhere anytime soon unless Ampere is as good as they say that it will be. This, I, I, this all see, hinges on you not winning the lottery because you'll toss that thing out the window. See, 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 <laughs> see, Pedro, I paid for this with my own money, so even if Ampere <laughs> fucking hands out free blowjobs, I'm not paying that. <laughs> all right. Coming up next, we're going to get all beautifully hand-drawn and animated and enter a Ren and Stimpy cartoon. Then we might play Luna, the Shadow Dust. Welcome back to the chair position where the accused must survive trial on Fedora, Neon, and Dubuan. This week, we're taking a look at, at Luna, chairs. the Shadow... Pink chairs, oh my, it's salmon, <laughs> Ben. Chairs. It's salmon, and it's a Stand manly wheels. color for my for my fragile, fragile masculinity. My God. You had my penis is shrinking as, <laughs> not really, no. Uh, I was going to say body hairs. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a beautiful woman, leave right. me alone. Um, 
Yeah, we're taking a look at Luna the Shadow Dust, done by uh, Lantern Studios, done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. Was it Luna? The Shadow Dust is a fully hand-animated point-and-click puzzle adventure brought to life through wordless storytelling, beautiful cinematic, and uh, breathtaking original soundtrack. Do you think we could uh, do, like, foot animated? Yes. To make it a thing? I mean, that's basically what a Don Hertz and Felt cartoon is. All right. Uh, so yeah, we we gotta we gotta mandatorily disclose that application systems the publisher sent us some keys. Yeah, Thanks a lot do. for that. So let us begin. Then stick it to it. Only way to do it is take out Ren over here on the box of business Mark III, which is a thread ripping 1920x 32 gigs of RAM, NVMe drives, 2060 displayed at UHD. Struggling this week on this one, though, because, you know, it's been a while since I've seen a proper technical shit show, and that's what this was, man. Kids, buckle up. This re resolution? Shrug emoji, dude. You can have uh, <laughs> 3840 by 2160, and you better be able to power that in the game proper, or you're just fucked. Or you can have a windowed mode. So, like, what if I have an integrated graphics that can do UHD 2D, but I would like to do a lower resolution? Go to hell, that's what. Graphical options. Go fuck yourself. There's none. Um, laggy mouse cursor, man. And that's not something I bet you about. That's something you'd expect coming from Pedro. And he's like, oh, something's <laughs> wrong with the slightly interface. And re, not Neiman. Damn, I got to complain about it because you drag. It's noticeably behind your movements, man. And you add that with a random herky jerk, man. Okay, you know what? I can give it the herky jerk. Let's get back to that fucking mouse because that is the main thing you interact with in a point and clicky game. You might want to nail that down, Brad, and you didn't. And I couldn't tell. I actually tried to run it with Proton and it just ate shit there. So unfortunately, uh, you know, the bottom of the screen before the uh, update came out Friday, did any either of you experience this or even bother to crack it open? Oh, yeah, that's where the uh, um, paddle should be on my yeah. screen. It was just garbled. Yeah, that, that, that's all I had. But it got fixed. So good on you for that. Push that up. But you're going to ask whether or not it's fun. Well, you know, I kind of knew I was interested in something special with the glyph menu at the start of the game where you're presented with four glyphs with no description. <laughs> so that, that's where the game starts, trying to figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do to get into it. Because, you know, text, a little, little, too, little too mainstream for this lot. You know, they, they needed something a little more artsy than a menu system. So point and click, eventually you will find your way into the game proper. You will uncover that your little friend, uh, and oh, that's where I got to, right. Okay, right after this, this is where you meet your little friend, right? We're looking at the video mm -hmm. version. We're figuring out how to get the light bulbs. You're doing the door thing back and forth. Puzzles. Yeah. All right, that's the thing. <laughs> then you find that this little dude buried under some shit. I'm like, okay, this might get interesting. The little thing didn't rip my face off and like eat me. So I was a little sad, completely lost my erection. Um, kind of pieced out right there because I realized like, oh shit, now I got to start doing everything twice i've seen that mechanic uh at the end of the day it's a bog standard man i mean this point click it, it doesn't do anything egregious it didn't irritate me but you know i've seen the hand-drawn pastel art pixels and violins in the soundtrack i knew the violins were fucking coming in the soundtracks by looking at it and there they were i could be old just could be jaded but you know daddy needs a little more motivation in a game than this gave me to play it in 2020 the drop off Ooh, it's spooky mysterious or no not really um the random world and have that just doesn't cut it for me anymore no sir i can't say i liked it again i'm not angry at it I'm like ah this is horrible i'm saying nope because i would have refunded it probably in the first 10 minutes yeah, so on uh, Fedora 3064 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, yeah, there's definitely some murky jerk happening, random slowdowns and the like. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, it, it's there. You notice it. The animation itself is actually super gorgeous, and the music is the solid and permanent for this sort of game. The mouse lag, though, that's that's definitely a thing. Pedro's is going to talk more at length about that. Um, and there is a couple timing-based puzzles that it kind of bogs down and cut it a little close. A little closer than I'd like. I didn't even make it that far. How did you manage that? Drugs. Got it. <laughs> um, though, Ben, I, I, I got I to gotta back you up on the menu thing, man. 
I, I just want to know until if, if you want to go with like an abstract interface, that's fine. But wait until I get into the fucking game proper. I just want to like be able to click on things and know what I'm clicking on. Um, fun wise, I mean, so these aren't necessarily hard puzzles. They're just obtuse and, and slow. There's a lot of waiting involved as mm -hmm. you're waiting for animation cycles to complete. Uh, the animation, admittedly, is great. Um, but sometimes I just like the character to go a little hair faster because I figured out what the fuck the game wants me to do. I just need to wait for the thing to click and go to the other side. Hey, maybe the uh, DLC will include the extra frames for the walking animation. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, beyond that, I mean, it's not really hard to figure out what the game wants you to do. But again, sometimes um, sometimes with that slow mouse cursor and with your own impatience, you may just like not, uh, you might not get the little clicky reticule that says, hey, you can interact with that. And you'll be stuck because you're like, well, clearly you want me to do this, but how? And then eventually you'll mouse over it again and be like, oh, this time you decide to show up. Um, the nonverbal storytelling is very well done. Tons of credit to the animator, animators, storyboarders, and sound design folks. It's done very, very well. But, I mean, it's definitely a kid's game. It reminds me of uh, The Gardens Between with a lot of, like, the environment interaction stuff and what have you. It's, it's all right for what it is. I just... I I I I would just want this little rabbit dude to move faster cuz I'm tired of waiting for them. I will give it two chairs. Yeah, there's uh absolutely some mouse deceleration at work and no, that's not an issue of KDE Neon the 3700X or the GTA It is, NA. but this game has it anyways. No, uh, but yeah, no, I have mouse uh, acceleration like any kind just uh disabled in my Exor conf. Uh so I know what my raw input is because that's what I always use. And this one is definitely doing something. It's like the faster you move, like sort of heavier the cursor feels because it does not match your movements at all. And there's not much in the way of options like Van and Jordan already mentioned. Uh, and, you know, it's a hand drawn aesthetic type of situation. So. I can see why they wouldn't have it, but resolution options really wouldn't go amiss. Um, and everything is mouse driven, so unless that mouse deceleration was done deliberately to ensure that timing is respected in some of the puzzles, I would have liked an option to disable that and just use raw input. That that that, that would have been nice. If that was done deliberately. I mean, he, Jordan's 100% on. I mean, it messes with you being able to do puzzles. Like, this is not working as intended. But that's the thing, it's that puzzle that Jordan mentioned is what got me thinking, oh, is this done deliberately, so you have, yeah, the timing I, 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 is there, but I, I, you have I, I, to I was, do it the way that they too. want you to. I think yeah. you're well, describing what, 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 a level what, what, of competence, not president, at well, any other what, aspect <laughs> of this game. What, what, I, what I was thinking is, like, maybe it's a way to guide you to, like, oh, well, I can't, I can't do this, I can't accomplish this, there has to be another way that involves a shorter travel path. That might be, yeah. the yeah, the... That's, that's it's like, the if they're doing that. that deliberately for that reason, to teach you that, no, don't worry about the timing, you have time to do whatever it is that you want, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I guess I could sort of see that, but uh, this is clearly a game aimed at children, like Jordan already said, and why is it always that it's the games that are aimed at children that get this right? Um, the... Ability to convey a story, to convey the game mechanics, to convey just about everything that the game needs to actually work without any text on screen, without any dialogue, without anything. It's like, outside of the little spacebar tutorial that you saw show up on the video <laughs> earlier to switch between characters, which is completely unnecessary because you can just click on the characters and get them to move around, you... There's no text on screen, ever. Even, like Ven mentioned, uh, the buttons on the main menu. There's no text. And you can tell what at least three of the buttons right off the bat, you can tell what they do. One is to start the game, the other one is for the options, heavy air quotes around that, and the other one's for uh, exiting the game. The other two, if you click on them, you figure out what they're for, but yeah, th those are not very well explained right off the bat. But that right there, to me, anyway, uh, is... Um, the mark of someone who knew what they were doing, at least as far as game design and the mechanics within the game uh, go. The technical side on this one is, ironically, the one up for discussion. Because the game in 
itself uh, conveys everything it needs with no text. And it lets you experiment all you like. Hence my suspicion that, you know, the game is very much aimed at children. And it doesn't really uh, punish you for experimenting. Take your time. Do your thing. Just fuck around. Do whatever these... Process of elimination. Do. You'll get through it eventually. Pretty much, yeah. And, yeah, the, a game which allows me to get it and is still able to tell a story with no text, no speech, no nothing is praiseworthy in my opinion. Three chairs. It doesn't get full marks because, well, the technical side isn't great. It's a baby game for babies, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. And, and, and any final words before we get the hell I'll out of here? I'll stick to it. Yeah, I mean, and the gardens between, even though it was a I don't know, it, was, it had a new mechanic. It had something to it. And I kind of felt the story. It was nonverbal, but I was digging it. This, this, I've seen these games done before. And hey, man, if you dig it, you like it, 20 bucks, give it a try. All right. Coming up next, we find out what kind of fluffy little thing Ven is. Yeah, I guess yeah. is that it's lint. Just lint from your belly button. Well, that uh, pretty much wraps up the show. Yay. What did you think of it? Uh, that chances are you probably hated it, like Jordan. So you can go to LinuxGameCast.com, you hit the contact button, you make sure LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to, and uh, we will be fa uh, very, very happy to uh, feature your hate right here, right now. If, for some reason, after... Uh, watching that review, you thought, maybe it's a good idea to let these people play my game. Just make sure we can all play it, because if nope. we can't, we're just going to make fun of you. Send us two copies. See what happens. <laughs> you will be mocked. I, I'm curious. Relax. I don't know what will happen. Um, <laughs> I will do a dance for you. Maybe we'll end up with another happy accident. Um, Ryan writes in. He's like, yo, man, apparently I said something. But I don't think yeah. it's... <laughs> uh, okay. He's like, the Bob Ross of murder machines, which I mirror said last week, um, is going to be stuck in my head, causing random laughter all day. And so people didn't think it was nuts. Well, you watched this show, Ryan. So, yeah. I mean... Yeah, you kind of knew listen. what you were getting yourself into. <laughs> Nuttier than a Snickers bar. Mmm, sweet diabetes. <laughs> Mm, Do they make like diabetes. light candy bars or like sugar? I guess they make sugar free. Yeah, for diabetics. It, I guess you wouldn't make light candy bars because you just know you're fucking lying to yourself, right? You're like, really? <laughs> light candy? Mm. It's made out of it's light. It's a bit less sugar. <laughs> it's got slightly less alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> My kind of candy, man. Uh, Frizo, Jordan, take it. All right, Van asked whether anyone really thought that Proton purchases would be reported as Linux ones. And yes, I for one thought so. Valve themselves said that they would be back uh, when Steam Play Proton was released. I don't see why it would be silly for anyone to assume otherwise based on the statement directly from the horse's mouth. It's true. They did. There, there was a tweet that was uh, that was replied to. Uh, mm -hmm. by, I, believe, mm -hmm. I believe it was Pierre Luc Griffet back yep. in the day. That yep. they're like, hey, do Proton purchases count as uh, Linux purchases? And he was like, yes. And again, we we like I, like I said last week, we all believed him because why wouldn't it? Well, like I said, I honestly believe he believed that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's like, oh, okay, but yeah, it might yeah. I, what it, I, what it, I, what it's I, a reasonable I, assumption to make. What I was saying is like walking into it, I can see him going because you know Valve has a flat management structure. He's like, yo, I need to know, are we tracking the uh, proton stuff? And somebody's like, yeah, sure, go away. And he's like, yeah, I was told uh, that it was. Then it was like, wait a minute, it wasn't. He's like, ooh, maybe I need to look into this. So, <laughs> yes, no. and that's kind of what happened. <laughs> yep. That's why. Hopefully, hopefully it's fixed now. Yeah. That, I mean, it's start. good when we find out stuff like that. And you just yep. don't blindly accept stuff. Is I'm sure now, Peria is going to be like, yo, show me some of that. Show me that shit on paper, son. <laughs> Yes, does right. it actually work like that, please? <laughs> right. Now, here, here's a question. Do you think they have printers at Valve? Do you think you can literally get something on paper? <laughs> probably. probably. You, could, you could probably go into Gabe's office or Doug Lombardi's office and just print something. <laughs> Sounds hot. Sounds sexy. But you have to fight Gabe first. <laughs>
<sighs> so much for sexy. Gabe yeah. fighter. <laughs> Gabe fighter. I mean... Fighting Gabe Newell for fun and profit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls on that beautiful bomb show, we're going to piece the hell out of here. Uh, you can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Put us in our, put a, yes, put us in our own face and our own ears. It'll be kind of brilliant. Hop in an hour early if you're one of the beautiful people making this show possible. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Hop in our Discord. We'll be in the creep shows. I'm Jordan Swung. I have successfully shoved my face into my own face. You can see the aftermath at the Burning Fool on Twitter or at Frojo on mass.lexgamecast.com. Pedro, hey, shove if, your face uh, into Nicolas Cage's face. If uh, ASDF uh, movies on YouTube taught me anything, is that I can punch my own face yeah, you in can. the face. Do it. And uh, <laughs> if you believe right now, well, in. <laughs> Ever. If you'd like to uh, have that more hurts. pearls of Damn. wisdom, much like that one, you can go to um, Twitter and look at, at unaccounted four. That that that's me. F O U R. Fuck, that hurt. Um, <laughs> you did that to yourself. Too. I got punches, man. <laughs> Watch out. You got punches in different area dunches. I, I all right. Lesson learned. Don't punch your head. That hurt. Uh, credits. That sounds like something else. I want some turkey dinner. Turkey's turkey's full of carbs. You can't have it. I can eat carbs. Nope. Your mom can't eat carbs. No, no she, carbs she 12 can't. hours before she's, you fly. She's, she's, she's trying to do keto, so yes, she can't do carbs. <laughs> no carbs. I'm going to thank the executive producers, Arthur and Ms. Fox Dog Empty, the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Barb Brandt, LDS, Haplo, Mac Mac Geek, Scott, Scott. Frosty, drummer, drummer, <laughs> and all the other producers, some of whom were mentioned in the previous segment because we didn't update that list, like Mr. Alert, <laughs> and Dan, and Matt C, well, and Mike W, and Yabo. Reineker, and Jack, and Wintersell, and Shervig, Von Haven Stalvin, and Linda, the and Kyle Cas Cascos, <laughs> Nicole, Steve, Bram, Adrian, an an yes. another Adrian. Steve, <laughs> Renaud, Strider, Right. Gonzo Ryan 2000, Nathan, Admiral JT, Jupiter James, <laughs> and Brock. Yeah. The Admiral JT. TikTok. And of course, the people on the fuck wall behind Ven. God damn it. We're just gonna wait. <laughs> it'll do. We, we, it'll, it'll take we, care of itself. We, we, we gotta thank them, man. I'm, I'm thanking them so right now. Especially Mike G, <laughs> In who spirit. owns about 50% of all our respective studios. There, you see? <laughs> Corn! It's so Mike bright. G. Basil and Arthurin. <laughs> My hand. Ow. <laughs> Pedro, I'm going to have to break this hand in. So I'm going to have to pay you a visit. You did that to yourself. I got to tough it. I, I got to so, tough so, it up. So, you, you get yourself one of these? Or? Yeah. The, remember how we went over my big hands? Yeah, or or your tiny wrists. Wrist. Either way, it didn't we're, work we're, out. We're, we're, we're not sure. We're not sure <laughs> which one it is. Giant hands or tiny wrists. <laughs> Dad, fire everyone. We'll see you next week. Oh, bye. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Five dudes.